Hey everyone, welcome back. Did you know that a hacker can completely crash and destroy a Linux PC with just a single line of code? Yep, it sounds crazy, but it's true. And the scariest part is, this line of code can be hidden inside a script that looks perfectly normal or even something promising, like a free mining generator. The problem. Hackers often use this trick as a form of payback, revenge, or just to cause chaos. What makes it dangerous is how simple the code is and how easy it is to embed inside something that looks harmless. Now here's the deal. Once this type of script runs on your system, you're basically done. The system crashes. Your terminal stops recognizing even the most basic commands. If you try rebooting, in many cases, the system won't even boot up again. You might get stuck at a loading screen, or worse, the boot sequence itself crashes. At that point, your files, your setup, your work, all gone. And there's almost no recovery. Because the script doesn't just delete files, it corrupts your system itself. How do people fall victim? So how do people fall into this trap? It usually starts with curiosity, or trust. Maybe you find a cool-looking tool on GitHub, Telegram, or some random forum. It promises something exciting. Free mining, faster performance, free premium tools, or even hacking utilities. Instead of reading the code carefully, or verifying the source, you just download it and run it. And that's when you hand over your system to the attacker. How does this tool work? The weapon behind these fake tools is often this single dangerous command, sudo rm-rf slash star. Let's break it down. Sudo. This runs the command as an administrator. Rm. This means remove. Minus r. Recursive. Which means go through all folders and files inside. Minus f. Force. Which means don't ask for confirmation. Slash star. This targets the root directory, basically telling the system, delete everything you can find. So in plain English, it's saying, delete everything on this machine, no questions asked. And once this starts running with root access, your system files disappear one by one until nothing works anymore. Protect yourself. Now the real question, how can you protect yourself? Never run random scripts without checking. Open the file, read the code, and try to understand what it does before running it. 2. Be extra cautious with sudo. Anytime a script or command asks you for sudo, pause and double-check. That's root-level access. 3. Stick to trusted sources. Download tools only from official websites or verified repositories. 4. Use a virtual machine for testing. If you're curious about a new script, test it in a sandbox or VM. That way, your main system stays safe. 5. Regular backups. Keep your important files backed up so even if something happens, you don't lose everything. What if you already ran it? Now what if the worst happens, and you accidentally run a command like this? Unfortunately, the truth is, there's not much you can do. Once your system files are wiped, recovery is nearly impossible. At that point, your best option is to stop the process immediately, though damage may already be done. Back up any files you can salvage to an external drive. Reinstall your operating system from scratch. And next time, make sure to review every script carefully before running it. Conclusion. So to wrap it up, remember this. Hackers don't always attack you directly. Sometimes, they just sit back and wait for you to run their poisoned code. Everything I shared in this video is for educational and awareness purposes only. This is not to encourage harm, but to help you recognize the danger before it's too late. Think about it. If losing your system frustrates you, imagine how frustrating it would be for someone else if you did that to them. So don't use this knowledge for harm. If you found this helpful, give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends so they don't fall victim, and don't forget to subscribe for more cybersecurity awareness content. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next one.